What's up, um, YouTube? It's uh, Blazing Gun Seven, aka Holy Ghost Rider Seventy Seven, um, BJG. You know, just kind of tired tonight, and uh, but my mind is still. You know, I gotta share the word. I gotta share my life with people out there. You know might be uh going through some things and just want to pick up where i left off it's been some months now i've just been busy uh crazy busy you know um two children my wife in the house vehicles so always something going on with them um but you know just gotta face it get over the um, humps in the road, you want to say, um, and just believe God's going to provide and always take care of us, you know, it's rough at times walking this walk, you know, but, uh, God is faithful and true, he will, he will always give us our needs and take care of us, but I guess this is like part three um trying to share my life you know uh things that i've been through things that i'm going through and things that i'm gonna face in the future um so you know as i was sharing in my past you know um from darkness to light you know from being a non-believer to becoming a believer, uh, you know, just facing reality, my own experience, um, I just shared a lot about, you know, how it started, when it started, you know, from broken home, uh, to being molested, um, not only that, just introduced to things that are not godly, you know, that can destroy a child, a man, a woman, you know. It, it's, a, it's a crazy world out there, and it's because of a fallen state uh, from the beginning of time when uh, Adam and Eve disobey God and they gave power over to the enemy uh, people know him as Satan Lucifer whatever you want to call him you know but uh we had to face the ripple effect from that but thank God that he had another plan and he sent his son Jesus Christ uh to die for us and give us power over that you know it's not easy and the flesh is weak but the spirit is willing and if you jump deep into worshiping the true and living god you know you see the power and you can overcome and reject the sinful hearts desires you know um you know, God didn't have to do that for me, but he did, you know, I mean, I was just down a rocky road with all those things that happened to me, and I was just living for myself, and I didn't care about nobody but myself, you know, power, money, and greed, and the pleasure, sinful pleasure of this world was... Uh, gripping me, you know, I started chasing it, you know, and living for self, and, uh, you know, these things, oh, this world can get you entrapped, and had not God got me at the right time and gave me an opportunity, I wouldn't be here right now. 
Um, might be in jail for life. Might be dead before I came to know him. Or even just living life and leading many people to in the wrong direction. Um, being a evil influence on many. Uh, because... You know, God made me with a purpose and gave me a gift. And that gift was being used for evil wickedness, you know, just running the streets and living for self. And I didn't care who I hurt or what what it meant, how I did it. Um, But, you know, he stopped me dead in my tracks. And it's real, you know what I mean? Like, these demons... Fallen angels, like, people people think it's a joke, or people celebrate, like, they celebrate Halloween, you know, like, like they have no clue what, what's behind it, you know, like, what, what demons and what what's the rituals, uh, or what kind of worship it is to the enemy, you know, to Satan himself, you know, uh, you know, Satan was Lucifer, and Lucifer was... Or, I mean, who knows? He could still look beautiful because he comes as an angel of light. The Bible describes him as that. Um, And he uses that light, that false light, to, you know, just lead people and lead people to their own damnation. I mean, it's crazy because he had no clue. And here I am living for myself, doing what I was doing and didn't care. But I had no clue I was giving myself over. I was trading my soul for greatness on this earth. Which that greatness was false greatness, false hope, false uh, lifestyle. And um, I was giving it all up for that. And I didn't even know it. So when I was doing what I was doing, I I was doing everything you could think of. Um, you know, here I go one night, and yeah, I was partying, yeah, but, I mean, I've partied many, most of my life I was partying, you know, from the age of 11 and up, I mean, I was intoxicated with alcohol, drugs, weed, you name it, you know, I was doing it, and, uh, you know, I'm I'm blacking out like at two, three thirty in the morning, and here I'm walking down the street, and didn't even know how I got outside, and you know, two friends were with me, and they were just following my every move, and and it's like God just stopped me dead in my tracks, and um. I said, like, what are you doing out here, and where are you going? You know, I had no clue. In my mind, I was like, I'm going over the tracks to the other side of town, and I'm about to murder somebody for no given reason, and I had no idea why, you know. And um, I'm like, where'd that come from? Where'd that plan come from? And, and I had no idea. And then I was just thinking, man, I'll do it. And I don't care. If I get away with murder, I will get away with anything. And I'll leave these two guys for the fall. And they had no clue they were following me. And when I stopped, they bumped right into me. And uh, they were possessed under, under, under the same spirit. You know, I was possessed on the spirit of murder, a demon, a murder, and they were listening to my every move. So I had manipulation, witchcraft on my mouth over those two. And here comes, you know, me and I, I, something stops me and I'm like, what are we doing? And from that moment, God started speaking to me in my heart and, uh, I said, let's go back, you know, to the crib, and we go back to their crib, and we start talking, and 
And I'm like, what are we doing with our lives, you know? And then they're just like, oh, it's too late, you know? And for a minute there, I was just like, yeah, it's too late, you know? I was like, let's go to hell and take in as many souls as we can with me, you know? I mean, as many people as we can. And it was crazy talk, crazy talk. And in the midst, I kept hearing the Lord speak to my heart. And I just don't know how I knew it was the Lord at the time. But, and I, trust me, I didn't know no Bible verses. But sometimes I kept hearing this in my heart, like my sheep know my voice. Um, not knowing that that was a scripture at the time. But, so that was like the evidence of the Holy Spirit telling me what he wrote down in the Bible. And... At this point, my friends were off in their own land, and I was off in my mind thinking about things, and they just disregarded me as being high and, um, you know, from partying at night, and, you know, beyond that, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was drugs, and it wasn't. I seen images that night of devilish images, in their faces, and then I looked in the mirror, and I thought it was funny for a minute. I'm looking in the mirror, and I see these devils, and I seen this devil in me, and, and you know, after God started talking to me, I put two and two together, and it was just crazy. Like, morning time is coming. God stopped me from murdering somebody and gave me the truth, and he's speaking to my heart. My friends think I'm loony. They think I'm losing it. And then uh, I just said, you know, I just kept hearing that voice. And the voice was saying, if somebody came in here and killed you right now, put a gun to you, and they're going to take your life, where would you go if you die right now? And I just was like, man. I just knew the answer right away, and I didn't know how I knew it because I was like, man, do I believe this or not? Like, this is crazy. And I just knew that, man, I'll go to hell right now. And the voice said to me in my heart again, well, let me rephrase the question. If you just walk out of here and you get hit by a semi-truck and it just crushes you and you die, where would you go? And I was just like, man, again, I felt like I knew I knew I'm going straight to hell. And I didn't know how I knew. I just knew it. I'm like, I'm far from God, you know. I'm going to hell. And so that night was going on, morning, I mean, because by this time it's easing on up and starting to get light out. And uh, I'm just going. I'm going through it. And I'm just like, man, you know, he gave me that other option. I mean, he gave me that, he rephrased the question. I'm like, I'm going to hell. And uh, I just heard that voice again in my heart. And um, and it was just like he said, you know, I sent my son for you. I sent my son for you, and, you know, he died on the cross. Then he defeated death. And he rose again for you. No, you got your options. You could go the way you want to go and keep doing what you want to do without, you know, any control. But you already know your destination. And then... After that, I was like, man, this is just 